Do you find yourself getting the same results over and over and wish you had different results? Is your business kind of stuck or stagnant and you don't know why? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain one of the easiest ways to boost your business, and that is how you can ask for feedback and where you should be getting feedback from. My name is Alex Morgan, and I help you boost your business and boost your business fast. And I also help you get rid of limiting beliefs because you were born limitless and it's time to be limitless again. Now there's different ways that we can look at feedback. First of all, why do we want to talk about feedback? Feedback is important because it helps us improve on what we want to improve on. If we keep doing the same thing over and over, we're not going to get different results. And most of the people that I work with, they're doing the same thing over and over and then they're wondering why they're getting the same results and this could be something as simple as making a decision putting off actually investing in your business if you're putting off putting off guess what you're not actually getting feedback because you're not trying anything new and you don't get to implement anything new now what about feedback is important what's important is that there is no failure there's only feedback so the more things you implement, the more things you innovate, or the more research you do and study and learn new things, you're going to mess up along the way. You're going to make some mistakes. However, those mess ups, those mistakes, those are going to give you really valuable information because that's feedback. And then you can use that feedback to get success much faster than if you didn't have the feedback. And now that you have the feedback and you apply it and you know it is effective, guess what? That's how you get predictable results. And on this channel, we always talk about doing things that is actually going to get us predictable results. So with all that being said, there's a few different ways that you need to get feedback. Most people unconsciously, they have a preference. They either can get feedback internally or they ask people outside of them for feedback me personally most of the time i know when i'm doing a good job so i give myself feedback however if i really want to improve i'm also going to ask someone else for feedback who's really good at what they do so in one of my trainings we teach something called modeling this is where we take the excellent behavior of another person and we install it in ourselves and one of the things we want to find out is how does this person when they're doing this thing that they're really excellent at getting their optimal results how is it that they get feedback and most people in this process of modeling they're getting feedback in a few different ways, so let's explore those. So there's three ways if we really wanna get really good results and get predictable results in our business and personally, we need to get feedback internally. We need to be willing to accept feedback from ourselves. We need to trust ourselves because if we don't trust ourselves, how are we gonna be trusting other people to also give us feedback? So along the way, you need to have a confident internal dialogue and telling yourself what's working, what's not. And you need to analyze this when you do something. Don't just do something and not be conscious of it. Be very conscious of what worked and what didn't. And the best time to give feedback, this is what we do in our trainings, the best time to get feedback is right away. Because let's say I'm working with you and we do a project and it didn't work out how we expected. And I said, hey, you know what? We'll have a meeting next week and I'll tell you what went wrong and what went right. How are we even going to remember exactly what happened? We don't even necessarily know what we had for lunch one week ago. So if you get feedback right away, it goes right into the unconscious mind. And the unconscious mind is where you learn. So that means you're going to be able to learn and apply the feedback. So you need to be confident enough to give yourself feedback internally. That's the first way that you really do feedback. So very important that you do that even if you wanna ask people on the outside. And that brings up number two. The second way is you also need to be asking people who you trust, who are getting the results that you want, ask them for feedback. Hey, look, I just finished this little project I was working on. 
What do you think? Would you make any tweaks? Would you do something differently? Would you set it up in a different format so I could pre present it differently? So you need to be asking very specific questions and getting feedback from a person that you trust and who is getting the results that you want. So the second way is you need to be getting external feedback from people who know what they're talking about, people who've been doing this, people who get results. And you need to be very specific how you ask them. Have something completed, have something done and ask them, what do you think? What's your feedback? Can you tell me what I did right? And can you tell me what I should improve so I can even make it better for the next time? You don't necessarily want to focus so much on what went wrong. You want to focus on what you did that was really good and then how you could make it even better the next time. So incrementally, you're making it better and better. You can also focus on what's wrong. That's important as well. You don't want to just overlook all of that. But what if we went from, hey, it's pretty good, and this is how we can make it excellent. This is how we can make it even better. So that's something to focus on as well. And now there's a third way to get feedback. This is kind of indirect feedback. What does that mean? That means when we're doing something and we're around people who are working on things that we're interested in, we need to be paying attention. What are they doing? What are they saying to themselves? What do they believe? What are some of their beliefs when they're doing this? And if we're curious enough, we can ask them. So everything that we observe and see and notice and feel and hear throughout the day, especially when we're in our element of something we like to do and we want to improve at, this is a way for us to gather feedback. So you really need to observe and pay attention to what people are doing. Because if you're not doing that, guess what? You're not curious enough. And one of the easiest ways to get predictable results is you need to be really curious and you need to have a willingness to experiment. So if you get feedback in all three of these ways, then chances are, guess what? You're going to have a willingness to experiment. You're going to put yourself out there. You're going to go from pretty good to getting better all the time because you're willing to implement new things. You're willing to really get down in there and give it your best effort. And this ultimately will bring you the results that you want. So make sure to get feedback in these three ways because there's no failure. There's only feedback. It's only going to make you better and get you predictable results. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel and even share it with someone who you think will benefit. Thanks so much for watching and see you on the next video.